Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place, and this is three days in a row. I hope you guys aren't getting sick of me. I just made some progress on my December goals and wanted to come in and tell some people who get it. <laughs> you know how I had the goal to finish off all of my yellow tag sale yarn? Finished it last night. So then I took the empty or the the stuff from the garage sale that my neighbor Leah got for me and moved that out to the bag next to my chair. So the last I told you, I only had one cake of yellow yarn left. So I went into butter lamb production mode. I ended up with five of them. Rather than try to juggle all five and show you all five, I got a picture of them in my light box and I'll put that up over here. I need to go through and get exact sizes for each one and try to figure out pricing for this year. Um, I freehand them. I don't really have a pattern. I just have a, like, a method. There's a method to my madness. So <laughs> they all end up a little bit different so I try to do like okay if it's this big to this big it's one price and if you go up an inch it's another price and that's what I need to figure out and get the Etsy listing rejuvenated right now it is expired or sold no it's sold out it's sold out and I did not renew it didn't like put anything back in there so once I finish that actually before I finish that when I had just that one thing left and my bag was empty, I did take the Leah yarn out there and I was looking at the Gala, Gala yarns, mixed fiber. Apparently these were skeins that were available at Big Lots because there's a thing on the back. Oh, am I showing you the right thing? Right there by my finger. Big Lots, $1. They're these little skeins. They only had 50 grams. And since it was an incredibly thick yarn, like that yarn is almost as thick as my, or as, as wide across as my pinky. So I guess you can figure out what I did with it. <laughs> I just made a chain Whatever I do here is going to mess with my microphone. I made a chain big enough to go around my head and connected it and then started doing double crochets. And I got from the three skeins that I had, I got three rows with about maybe 30 inches left. So I took the last 30 inches. I hope the microphone doesn't like start scratching while this here. And See, I could, I could just wear it like this, all stretched out and low, but the 30 inches I wound through the edges so that I can cinch it up and then tie it in a little bow. If I saw this in a store, this yarn, I don't think I would get it because where's an end? The ends, like I tied them in a knot, but they get frayed. Got to make the noise when you move the chair. They get frayed very easily. And I don't know. I've heard of people like when they get some yarn like this where they like singe it. But I don't want to do that because if it starts on fire, I sort of like this and I want to burn it. Okay. Oh, when I made the butter lambs, I had just a little bit left. And I didn't think it would be enough to finish up a lamb. So I made another ball for the collection. And then I still had a little bit left. And I didn't think it would be enough to make another ball like this that was all yellow. So I mixed it with black. So, oh, it's up there. It's out of reach. I thought I'd just toss them in. I'm probably up to seven or eight balls for my craft show table next year. So, 
I did get back to the Boggy Creek blanket. I have tied on my next color. So I'll be doing four more rows of this color and then a darker variegated and then a darker brown and we'll see how big it is then. Do I have a... Yes, I have a measuring tape when it works. It is currently da, 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 15 inches. And that's at the end of the last, the last um, variegated. I did not measure it to count this little bit of green that I've done. So I'll be working on that tonight. I'll be working on updating an Etsy listing. And I will be working on an Etsy order. I had someone message me today um, saying she wanted to order a couple of whale ornaments like those um, and she said I was just checking to see if your three-day shipping window is still applicable even at this time of December and you know I saw the message notification on my phone I was watching a YouTube video when it came in so I saw the message immediately responded within a minute or two and said I don't have anything on the calendar tonight I will work on them tonight and get them out in tomorrow's mail so a little while later, I heard the cha-ching. I, I turned the sound of my phone on like, I'm going to get an order. I'm going to get an order. I want to hear the cha-ching. Turned my sound on on my phone and I did hear it. Then I went to the grocery store after work and at the self-checkouts, if the item you are purchasing has a store discount, when you scan it, it'll go cha-ching. So I heard a lot of chichings today, but only one of them was mine. So tonight it is Buggy Creek Blanket and whale ornaments. And you know, I was watching a video by Judy um, of Witch Peace Crafts. She was the host a few months ago for Amagurumi Wars. I got to know her that way. And I've continued to follow her channel. And she had something up today about like a do-it-yourself advent calendar. And I've been toying with this. I was thinking of writing myself a bunch of little notes. Like, pull a yarn out of inventory and make a chicken. Or, you know, find three different yarns to combine to make an iguana. Yeah, I could, I could do that. But from listening to her, the wheels started turning. I want to see if I can get my girls, one, two, or three of them, we'll see, to make me up some Advent bags. I would supply the yarn. You know, I could take Let's see, you know, 12, if I said like 12, it would give me two days to work on stuff. If I got like 36 skeins of yarn and, you know, put them in a bag <clears throat> and took them to my daughter's house and said, here you go, you know, just put three or four yarns together. You know, if you want to, like if I put a full skein in and you want to wind half of it into a ball so that you can put half in each bag, just, and then, you know, have some little paper Christmassy looking bags and just you know, put them in the bag, staple them together, staple the top together, not staple the yarn. Okay. And then next Christmas, I can open like every other day, open a bag. And then the next day I'd be able to show you what I made or a day or two later. So I'm going to talk about it with them this weekend and see if they'd be interested in doing that because I think that would be a lot of fun because I'm not all that good with colors like this this scarf is a it's sort of a pinkish purple and I'll wear it with a plain this this sweater is navy blue with little tiny flecks of color in it so I could wear it with this I think that's safe but or or a black shirt 
but any other color. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid to mix this with any other color. So I'm not really good at matching colors. There have been times in the past where one of my daughters would say to me, um, mom, don't go out like that. You need to change and put a different color scarf with that shirt or a different color shirt with that. You know, nope, 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 doesn't, doesn't work. So I know, I know that I'm not good with colors. I know that they are good with colors and they do like to, oh, my, my youngest, she'll just like pick up yarns and like put them together and then pick up another shade of blue and, you know, and it looks all the same to me, but she's like, okay, these two, <laughs> they got it. I don't, and I know it. So, okay, I need to go make dinner, then clean up after dinner. Tonight's menu is, hmm, it's going to be something with ground lamb. I think it's going to be euros. Euros, roast potato, Greek salad. Yeah, we haven't had euros in a long time. That's spelled G-Y-R-O-S. I always used to say gyros, but then someone told me the correct Greek pronunciation is euros. Okay, so since then, we've said euros. Yeah, you go to a Greek restaurant. I like the gyros. <laughs> See the waiter sort of chuckling like, they don't know what they're getting. <laughs> okay. We like Greek food. Souvlaki. I make, sometimes with the, the ground lamb, I will make souvlaki wraps where I cook up the ground lamb sort of like taco meat but with souvlaki seasonings. And then you have it in a wrap with tomato, lettuce, feta cheese, Greek dressing. And my husband has black olives. I don't have black olives. I think that black olives are slimy black things and I don't eat them. He likes them on his pizza. He likes them on his salad. I will cut them and put them on his pizza and put them on his salad. And then I'll go wash my hands. But I will not eat those slimy black things. Have I gotten enough silliness into this video? <laughs> oh, I'm a feisty one today. So, okay, time to go work on dinner. Because the sooner I'm done with dinner, the sooner I get to go play with yarn. And what am I starting tonight? Whale, whale ornaments. So I have to go through the, the beige box up there has my whale yarn and I have to look at the listing on my phone and see which yarn I have labeled as soft gray because that's what she wants for her, what, her whales. And it shouldn't be any problem getting them both finished tonight. And then I'll look around and see what sort of a, a thank you gift I can send to her with the whales. So that's all folks. It's time for me to go work on dinner. Bye bye.